Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with that right there. 2020 Panini Flawless Collegiate Football. One box or briefcase. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember we marked that the last time we popped that open. Uh, big thing. I don't know why that didn't get boxed up, but big thanks to everybody here for picking their teams straight up. And appreciate the people who uh, bought into the the number block right here too the 11 team number block featuring those teams thanks everyone thanks for spending a bit of your saturday night with me too i appreciate that as well all right let's set that over here and let's pop this baby open let's see what happens yeah oh yeah I've, I've, I've hung out with arthur and joe p before too those guys are cool in person but now nah, i don't know about I don't know about Steve Locke. <laughs> I've never met him in person. I don't know. He seems cool in the chat. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we're going to do the box. And you see the encased cards right here on the top camera. We're going to do that box right here first. <laughs> Steve Locke's like, I don't know about me either. All right. Good luck. Right. I don't think there's a checklist for I don't think there's a checklist for flawless. Yeah, so there's no checklist for this. So we're gonna go by our um, by our college rules or non checklist rules, which is in the frequently asked questions section. But basically, if they are an active player, they'll go to the team that he is currently on. Right, even if he was traded yesterday, he'd be on the team that he's on today. If they're a retired player, it'll be the uh, the team they played for. The longest, according to, I'm going to pull this up right now, profootballreference.com will go by seasons. We'll use games as a tiebreaker. Um, yeah, we'll use games as a tiebreaker and then game started as the next tiebreaker. Okay. Good luck. Let's get started. I want to write down. How about the shipping team, too? All right, we've got to lead off with Jacob Eason, 23 out of 25 for, he's a Colt for the Colts. Kind of blank on that for a second. Indianapolis goes to Kang. We got T. Higgins, 3 out of 15. Three color, dual relic for the Bengals. Sean Maddock picked up the Bengals straight up. And we've got Notre Dame's Rocket Ishmael. Remember him? 15 out of 25. He's got a great autograph too. Now I want to say... I want to say Raiders, but he may have played for another team a little bit longer. Oh, okay. Look at this. I'm glad I explained the tiebreaker, too. So here, I'm going to flip screens just for a second. Here, I'll keep the Nick cam on so you can see that there's no funny business happening right up there. But look at that. He played for Carolina, Dallas, and Oakland for three years each. So we'll go by games as a tiebreaker, and that is Raiders. 45 games with the Raiders. The next closest was 42, Carolina. All right, so that will go to the Las Vegas Raiders, Eric J. Pretty, pretty, pretty speedy dude. Yeah, Rex. Yeah, he went to Notre Dame. Yeah, Rex is saying in Indiana, and he's he was a big name out there. We have a nice bowl patch here. Nine out of fifteen. Michael Gallup going to the boys. Cowboys are a number block team, so Cowboys nine. Matthew Shira. It's Michael Gallup galloping to you.
personal capital is here to help you. Visit personalcapital.com today. Got another nice looking bull patch here. Citrus? That's what it looks like. Justin Jefferson? I'm not good with college sports. Two out of ten for the Vikings. Jeremy T with the nice Justin Jefferson. Another nice one. Ten out of ten. Chase Claypool. He's pretty good. He goes to the Steelers. That'll be for Jeremy T again. Nice one for Pittsburgh. We got a train whistle. Three out of five. Wow. Drew Brees on card autograph. Nice. That's team logo signatures. Got the Purdue logo there. Drew Brees' nice penmanship. That goes to the Saints, Matt Medlin. Nice. Matt. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. All right, two color, dual relic, autograph, three out of 10, Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell, three out of 10, and he's with the, he's with the Chiefs now, right? He is, right, yeah, Thomas is saying, yeah, he is, man. So that goes to Kansas City, and Kansas City is a number block team. Uh, Chiefs three. Joseph Falsetti with that. Oh, I'm sorry, it was Pete Thatcher who was saying that Rocket Ishmael is a big name in Indiana. There you go. Nice. All right, now left, right, and center. The center card's usually the autograph. Oh, there's an autograph right here. All right. How about the right side first? We want to do the gems first. Dak Prescott. Poor Dak Prescott. Get well soon. 17 out of 20. Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys 7 is going to be for Zeb. A little diamond there. Shining bright like a diamond. Yeah, is this a two-auto briefcase? Yeah, the center one's an auto, too. All right, so let's do, let's do the left side first. Look at that. Sapphire and autograph. That's my guy, Henry Ruggs III for my Raiders. 11 out of 15. Who's got my Raiders? Raiders. Eric J. There you go, Eric. Nice rugs in his Alabama gear. It says rookie gem signatures in the middle. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. You can kind of see it right there. That's pretty sharp. Raiders. And the card in the middle is a nice one. Jason Jaspi might be interested in uh, in this one. Um, Sean Jaspi too, to be honest with you. Sean Maddock with the Los Angeles Chargers in his Oregon gear, Justin Herbert. Another rookie gem signature in that Sapphire. Two out of 15. Nice one there. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's for the Chargers. Sean Maddock, once again, congrats to you. All the uh, gems were uh, naturally mined, not lab-grown. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.